Hey guys, Top Tier Gaming here, coming at you with a special deck profile. It's a PK Hero, um, except this is an updated list for the rank up spell that will be coming out for them soon. And the rank up spell is really good in this deck, I think, because I already play the deck sort of floodgate turbo, you know, special that Dark Law as fast as possible, lock your opponent out of the game, and just make crazy boards with Lev Ears. The rank up spell adds like a pretty cool new dimension to the deck, it adds a second floodgate card in the form of Ophion, and he is a really great floodgate against Cosmo, which was this deck's worst matchup. Now Ophion can just say no to a Cosmo field, and I think it's just really strong altogether. I think that's a really good card that will help this deck immensely, because it already has good matchups across the board against like a lot of other things, so this deck could see a big boost with the help of this rank-up spell. So, short deck profile, I'm sure most of you know how PK Hero works. Um, if you're subscribed to this channel because, you know, the deck's been on this channel for a while. But I will do a deck profile because I feel it's necessary. Um, the three Shadow Mist, you just run this to turbo out your Dark Law. Um, three of each of the Phantom Knight monsters because they work with your Transmodify, arguably the str one of the strongest spells in the deck. Um, and you need them to banish so you can levy your spam. Three Marauding Captain, he's sort of like the consistency card that helps special Shadow Mist in the bad hands. Um, but also levy your loop with your PKs. The obligatory 3 tier top take a Tom Borg. Uh, rank 3 deck, you need these. I took out the Kagamucha Knight for the rank up spell. I didn't feel like I wanted to take anything else out for this rank up spell. Um, so yes, the 1 mask change with 3 mask change too. Um, 3 good cards, 1 bad card ratio. You don't want to draw this mask change. It's just search off the Shadow Mist because it's the better card to search. But otherwise you just want to see the mask changes. 3 Transmodify, the reason this deck works, um, Transmodify turns your PKs into Shadow Mist and puts a PK in Grave. It's a way better hero lives, you don't pay 4,000 life points, and it puts a PK in Grave, which is really essential for looping with your Levier. Um, so Transmodify is super important. Uh, double Twin Twister, it is a combo deck, I still sort of refuse to main deck 3 for first games, I do side in that third, pretty much every game, especially if it's a more back row -y deck. Um, but two I think is fine because back row is not a pivotal point of this format right now. And, but it is really good with the Phantom Knights as well. So two or three, your preference. I just don't know what else I'd cut for a third Twin Twister. Um, one of the rank up spell, uh, some people might argue against this. I don't really know how people are playing other Phantom Knight decks. But I choose to play one. It's searchable, so when you need it, you can get it. And the most important thing to have is still the wings backed with a Fog Blade. That's a really important part of this deck. Um, the rank up spell, although is searchable, so when you need it, you can get it. Um, you probably will have boots somewhere because you've levy or looped them a couple times. You get multiple searches off the boots really easy. Uh, double alert, super essential for this deck. Not for even the draw two cards, but to get the banish to start your levy or loopings or to special shadow mist. Gold Sark, same reason. Uh, Rota, foolish, too good with the PK engine. Traps are the exact same, three fog blade. Two Wings, the best trap in my opinion because it keeps that Dark Law alive. And now it can keep o Ophion alive and pushes Ophion to 3,050 attack. Just enough to get over Dark Destroyer, which is insane. So I think that's just a really great number. And Wings is even more important now because you should blow out some Cosmo matches now. I think that's great. Uh, one warning. The extra deck stayed almost the exact same. Two Dark Law. I'm still playing the Dion. I cut out Giga Brilliant for... Ophion actually, so that's a big change. Um, three Levier, two Break Sword because the Break Sword goes into Ophion. Um, one Dark Rebellion Dragon. This is the level four target I now choose to play for Break Sword for multiple reasons. I had to cut room for the extra deck because new cards, and because I think he's the better one honestly. And he goes into this card, which is a monster. Another thing you can make with the rank up spell. So yes, one Dante. I feel like I should say this because I think some people are playing this deck wrong. Dante is not that important of a card in this deck. He's not that good. You play him for the really terrible hands to get out of it. I've seen a lot of people go for Dante's first turn, and that's really not what the deck's supposed to do. Um, one Anganeer, one Grand Pulse, and one F-Zero. Um, you don't need to play two of this now, I don't think, because we have a better Cosmo matchup than we used to. So that was a deck profile, a little longer than I wanted it to be. Um, but now we're just going to go straight into the games, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so we're here with the first game. It's against uh, Blue Eyes Max Dragon. I seem to play that a lot. 
Um, but I think this game really shows how explosive PK Hero can be. Um, I think these games all do a really good job of showing how you're supposed to play PK Hero and um, just how explosive the deck can be when it wants to. Um, it's an amazing first turn going first. Like there's, it's really hard to get around this board. Um, super strong. Go for Engineer just to detach the boots, and so I can search the Fog Blade. The Engineer will act as the wings to stop Dark Law from dying from Raigeki. Here he does that, and I chain the Fog Blade, and he just scoops it up because he's not going to be able to make any plays, and there's no way around that field. It's just game the next turn. Um, so I go first again. I open up really well uh, to be able to get Dark Law. I open up the Rank Up spell, but I don't actually get to use it. Um, these games weren't the best games for the rank up spell in general. Um, this is another, this is sort of a weak opening, just Levier and Dark Law. Um, but, like, the hand has a lot of potential to be really strong next turn. And if he doesn't have an out to Dark Law, he doesn't have an out to Dark Law. That's just how Dark Law works. He's playing Ninjas. I haven't seen this deck in forever since around, like, when people were testing it, like, in Zector format or a little bit before that. I don't even quite remember. Um, but pretty much you get White Dragon Ninja and you lock down the back row and you safe zone him and he's impossible to kill. Really strong play back then, but now we have cards like F-Zero, so I just go completely just off the wall. Super broken plays here. I just keep going. It doesn't stop. And this, like, PK Hero can be super explosive because of the 3 Levier. I bump Dark Law up to 32, make this, and it's perfect game once I take it. Because you got 3,000, 32, and 18, which is game, so he just scoops it up. Third game is against Arrow Mages, but I mean, this might as well have been like Clee Fort. He's playing the whole just stun with traps, it looks like. Like, he gets Rivalry and stuff, and Rivalry hurts this deck a bit because of Levier, but honestly, it's not super bad since most of your stuff is Warrior. Um, so, I get the Dark Law plus the two traps you need, very, very important. Um, I don't really showcase a lot of the rank of spell in these games, like, it just never came up. I wasn't playing against anything super good with it but these games are really good at showing what pk hero does um and here i just special that he plays rivalry um stops my levier but i summon the thing and summon gloves and it's a 3k break sword so here i'm playing against max dragon i don't open him particularly strong um just the dark law with the double traps and i gold sark for terra top a really important play of the deck to be able to make a lot of levier um, here I just fight to keep my Dark Law alive because Max Dragon will eat it. So the Terra Top has one turn, but that does not matter because it is Gold Sarked and I'm just going to Levier it out. And it's going to make a lot of Levier. A lot of good plays here. Special that Terra Top, special that. Make the Dark Law 3200 with the Cloak. Um, being 3200 is incredibly good for Dark Law. It's the reason Cloak is the best Phantom Knight in, um, in the PK Hero deck. You can also search the Rank Up spell. So that's really cool. Um, here I make a big misplay. I was supposed to fog blade the cloak before it died, but he kills it. I take 6,000 damage, and I would have only left him two options to attack. Um, both were terrible options, so. But it didn't matter. In the end, I won. Um, so, yeah, these were the games. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sh this showcases, like, what PK heroes can do. The deck honestly doesn't change too much with the rank up spell. As you see, it still plays the same way. The rank up spell just gives it an extra option to go into the second floodgate extra deck monster, Ophion. It's really good against, like, before Cosmos established their boards. It's really good against Monarchs. Well, not really too good against Monarchs, I guess. Um, but it is really good against Cosmo. And, like, if they have an established Dark Destroyer, you can still wings your Ophion and make him 3,050 and get over the board like that. Um, so overall, yeah, really strong card, and it does bring a new dimension to this deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave that like, uh, comment, subscribe. This was Top Tier Gaming by YouTube.